Good evening, my friend. Welcome to WW Radio Live. I am Lou Mangello. It is Wednesday night. My, hopefully your, favorite night of the week. Why? Because we get to spend it together. If you're watching live, thank you for being here. Please let me know in the comments where you're watching from. Tag and invite a friend of yours to come and watch with us over here in the WW Radio Clubhouse. Don't forget, if you're watching on the replay, to join us every Wednesday, 7.30 p.m. Eastern. Also, be sure to turn on notifications on the WW Radio page on Facebook because you never know when and from where I may be going live next, including but not limited to the Disney Fantasy coming up this weekend. Finally, we have our seven, wait, I got to get this right, eight-day, seven-night WW Radio cruise on the Fantasy to Bermuda and the Bahamas, Castaway Key, Palo Brunch, Chicken Tenders, Cats and dogs living together. I am um, woefully unprepared by, I haven't even thought about starting to pack yet, but I'm incredibly excited. I realized that I haven't done a seven-day cruise in a long, long time. I haven't been on the Fantasy, I think, since 2017. I think was the last time was our Star Wars Day at Sea cruise was the last time I was on the Fantasy. Um, for those of you Playing along at home, have you ever been on the Fantasy? Um, which is your favorite ship? When are you cruising again? When are we cruising again? We'll get to that later. Becky's not watching. I can announce anything I please tonight. It's a free-for-all as I prepare my phone to start uh, blowing up. Beatrice Dennis is packing so much. It is... Um... <laughs> Zach Brown. Um, is this your longest Disney cruise yeah, I've never done yet. I've I haven't done one of the ten or fourteen day transatlantic. Um, I don't know if Paul is in here tonight. I know my buddy Paul is about to do. He's doing I think back to back, like back to back transit. Like he's going on a cruise for like twenty one days, which is crazy and awesome all at the same time. But I think this this technically the seven day is really sort of the longest ones that I've been on, and I'm really curious coming from the four days and a couple of five days here and there, how I like the, the seven days. And again, now having not been on the fantasy in a long time, I'm really, really curious to see her um, again. Beatrice says the fantasy was my first ship. It's going to be your third time. I, I like, I have vague ish memories of what the district Europa sort of feels like with the carousel in the middle and the Vespa. I'm actually a lot more familiar because I spent a ridiculous amount of time writing a ridiculously long, uh, for those of you coming along, um, I wrote a ridiculously long scavenger hunt for you to play, to enjoy, to discover, to learn, potentially curse me out along the way with, um, I think, I think I came in at 137 questions for you to find. So this should be a fun, interesting uh, challenge for us to do and to do together. Uh, Rich says, my favorite ship is whatever ship I am currently on. I, I feel the same way. I sort of waffle back. Oh, waffles. I waffle back and forth um, because I love the classic ships. I love the smaller size of the Magic. I really love the Wonder since, since its most recent refurbishment. But there is also something to say for the larger ships, too. Some of the amenities, some of the upgrades, the enchanted art, um, uh, the, the um, oh my god, I'm drawing a blank on the um, the detective, the midship detective game with with the Muppets. Um, so, and even just some of the, the the even like the adult districts and and dining, I'm really excited to see. Again, Beatrice says, just wait until you see Brian's pirate costume. Just wait to see Becky's pirate costume. I got a, I brought a costume for Becky. She promised me she was going to wear it. So she may need to have her dressers. Um, I mean, she's bringing along professional people who dress her in the morning. She may have to have her dressers practice a few times because I don't know about all of those buttons and snap. Whatever. It'll be fine. She, I'm sure she'll enjoy wearing it and, and really sort of in, uh, in, oh, she's here. She's here. Becky says we need to do a transatlantic or a trans. Is there a is there a trans Pacific? Is there a trans Pacific? Can we go from the west coast of these United States of America to the coast of someplace like Japan? 
or China or somewhere that's close enough to Japan or China so that I can go to Japan and or China. I mean, I am going to Japan. We, we are going to Japan. I mean, I'm not taking you physically with me, but it was just announced at Star Wars Celebration 2020. 2020, I'm so excited, I, I can't talk. 2025 is going to be in Tokyo. I have to guess, who, which obviously means we need to go to, to Tokyo. So, uh, Richard is waiting for the next Devoted Road Group Cruise to Alaska announcement. So, Richard, we've done these in, we did one in 2015. We did one in 2018. And what does that mean? It means that we're overdue. For another cruise to Alaska. Look, I've been Becky. I've been begging Becky to do a cruise to Alaska for the last couple of years. She keeps saying no. She keeps dismissing me. She's like, we have plenty of time. Hopefully on this cruise, she'll be drunk enough for me to convince her to agree to do an Alaska cruise again. It's on the wonder. I think Alaska is my favorite of the cruises because the destination is the star and because of the ship that it's on. It is a spectacular one and one that I would love to do again because even from the first and second time, it was a completely different experience um, going, not just because of the excursions that we did, but the people who were there and the things that we saw. So I would love, love, love to do Alaska again. So uh, let me catch on. Um, Elizabeth says, oh dear, I thought the inaugural wish scavenger hunt was long. It was, but Elizabeth, also remember a couple of things. Um, it's a longer cruise, so I have to give you more time. And was it the inaugural cruise of the Wish, or was it the Christmas one, where I have no problem admitting this? I Look, th there's a lot of things that are happening on this side for me that I have to pull together um, in terms of stuff that I have to write and print. I've sent like 87 different things to FedEx that I need to run and try and go pick up tomorrow and I goofed and I goofed and when I printed out the um, scavenger hunt questions and I had transferred the questions from the answer key which I obviously I write the answer key first uh, when I transferred them over I forgot to take out the answers for the photo portion of the scavenger hunt so there was about 50 photos that were part of the scavenger hunt I, I think it was actually the last one I think it was the, the Christmas one um, that that people did not get to participate in it's fine. If that's the worst mistake I make, it's it's still a uh, it is still a good day. So, but this one should be fun, and hopefully my questions and answers are correct because I haven't been on the ship in seven years. So I'm going off of um, photos that I took uh, the, the couple of times that I was on it. Uh, Kim says I've been on all the ships except the Wonder. I love them all, but the Magic is special in my heart since it was my first cruise. I do have where is it? Oh, you can't see it. Uh, when the magic was reimagined re in 2013, I had this little sort of poster on the side that has sort of flags of um, the Avengers Academy and the Aqueduct and Animator's Power. And it's worth the thing that I love because I do have an affinity for that ship um, because it was the first one and it was uh, obviously my very first Disney cruise as well. Beatrice says, I need I have to help with Brian's dreadlocks and Banna Dana. Nobody has more fun, although I think the Memekins may be sort of they're, they're coming up. Nobody has more fun than the Dennis's when we do these cruises. Becky says, bring stretchy pants. Becky, I, I disagree with that. Um, do not bring stretchy pants. Bring multiple stretchy pants. I think you also need to bring stretchy pants that are a size larger than what you fit into right now because seven days, it's a lot of carbs. It is a lot of chicken tenders. And... I am going to make sure I, there's a, going to be, I'm a couple of things I'm going to make sure that I do on this cruise that I often don't get to do. One, I'm going to make sure I order room service. Two, um, I actually think I'm going to bring a book. I'm going to, I'm, man, I am going to make time. I'm going to find an hour to sit down like outside on deck four somewhere or up on deck 11 or at the Vista Cafe and just try and read a book for even if I can get through 10, 15 minutes, uh, I'll be happy. Um, I ate lobster claws every single day at lunch on the Disney Fantasy. That, my friend, that is one of the reasons why you take a Disney cruise. Uh, random, ridiculous, fun fact. Do you know lobsters used to be, like lobsters literally were prison food. Like in the Northeast, they used to give lobsters 
to prisoners. Uh, and I saw, I don't remember where I saw, there's, I th and it might still even be on the books. I think like in Massachusetts or something, there's a law that says you can't feed lobster to prisoners more than three times a week because they were in such abundance. I mean, they are, they're sort of like, you know, they're, they're bottom feeders and they were in such abundance that you should feed them for prisoners until they started to get more sparse and it became a luxury and people were like, wait a minute, this is actually really good stuff. Anyway, I digress. I'm also looking forward to love. I'm looking forward, Becky Mankin, say it with me, Tuna Towers. Tuna Towers at Enchanted Garden every single night. I almost forgot about those. I almost... <laughs> Becky is literally... I can't read Becky's text. Oh, Becky, I don't even know... I don't even know if that... I'm, I, is that word even in English? I am, I need a high schooler to explain to me what that word means because I'm pretty sure that's a potty mouth word that I cannot say on the uh, on the live show. Um, we would do the Alaska cruise, Kelly. I, th I think we would definitely. Um, I think we can definitely make that. Um, we can definitely make that happen. Joshua Smith, it's good to see you. Joshua Smith, I'm so happy you're here because I wanted to, and this is why I've kept them on. Joshua Smith, you are like the nicest guy in the world, man. You sent me not one, but two Easter cards this year, and they mean a lot to me. Uh, and the things you wrote and the things that you cut out and put in there and, and personalized for me, thank you very much for doing that, brother. I, uh, I really appreciate you. I really appreciate it. It was very, very kind of you to do. So... Uh, yeah, it was Christmas. Brian promises not to obsess over the scavenger hunt on this cruise. Please don't, because the other problem I run into is I try and make them fun. I throw and try and throw in a couple of challenging questions here and there, and every single time, I'm like, I need to make these more difficult. I need to make these a lot harder, because as I'm scoring them um, when I come home, oftentimes we get to like two, three, four people that are have like very, very similar score. I think on the last cruise, I think the winning team won by one question. Like it was that close. And they like they only got like one wrong, like one or two wrong. So I have to really make them a little bit more challenging. Dave Brookover's all everybody's all packed. I'm Friday night. Friday night is because I'm still packing like the stuff that I need to bring. Like there's a lot of stuff that I need to bring for the welcome center. I'm packing ducks, I'm hole punching duck cards, I'm getting magnets and fishing. There's a lot of stuff that I have to pack before my actual packing begins. So if you see me wearing the same clothes two or three days in a row, it's because I packed the last minute and I was woefully unprepared for uh, what I was supposed to bring. So, um, Beach is bringing workout clothes. I'm gonna just call those stretchy pants and just leave it at that. Um, at least says, hey, let's have a book party. Yeah, I don't, I say it every time, Elizabeth. I say it every time I'm going to find time. I, I've actually never done like a spa. I mean, I'm not really like a spa guy, but I don't even know the last time I walked into the rainforest room, like other than just videotaping or like videotaping, like when I was like live or something like that. Not that I'm in there when people are in there, but like when we first get on the ship or for like a media event. So who knows? We'll see. Tim Brown, Tuna Towers. Tuna Towers all day, every day. They are um, some of the best. Michelle had White Castle in New Jersey for lunch today. Where in New Jersey did you have it? And if you say Route 9 in Edison, that was my, either Route 9 in Edison or Route 22 in Union, those were like my two White Castle haunts that I would go to. Um, now we have one down here. It's good stuff. My son and I like to go. Or I actually got Becky to go once for a meeting and she liked it i mean granted she made me bring the food to her which is fine but she actually liked it and for those of you who were very very judgy of me for going there on valentine's day we had a lovely time me and my son and my wife and like a crave case and there was candle it wasn't candles it was like flowers on the table it was very nice it was very very you know romantic um let's say he's a Becky, if you think I'm obsessed, if you think I was obsessed with ducks last time, I, I should have brought them up. My cruise ducks, um, I have more than double this time. So for the, if you've ever taken a cruise before, there's been this tradition over the last many, many years of people hiding ducks that you can uh, take or keep or, or rehide 
Usually there are yellow ducks all over the place. Some of them are decorated because it's a WWE radio cruise. We have blue ducks that I'm hiding that have little cards on them that you can keep. We're fine. If you're part of our group, if you bring me a duck, maybe I'll give you something in return and then you can keep it or rehide it for somebody else. So uh, we have a lot of fun, a lot, a lot of fun stuff planned. Amber Brandle says, uh, rainforest and pina colava goals. I'm assuming those are your goals, not necessarily my goals. I would, I could do a little pina colada on this trip. It's very Bermuda, Bahami-ish. Um, we weren't judgy about the destination. It was that I took a selfie. I did. I took a selfie with my, no, I didn't. I didn't. Was it a selfie? It might've been with like the menu or the rose. Who cares? It doesn't matter. I had fun. Uh, how many blog do blue ducks are still sailing from the past cruise? I don't know, but I will tell you on the last cruise on the wish in December, I remember going around and I was hiding ducks at one point in between meal services. Cause I wanted to go over by Arendelle and I look behind me and I see there's like this woman sort of like, shadowing me from a distance and every time I turned around she'd be like oh yeah I'm just on my phone and then I'd look up again and she's like following me and so I went through Arendelle and I hid a bunch of ducks and I left and I came back and they were gone she followed this wasn't the first time she followed me Disney adults ruin everything she followed me to steal the ducks and then like I saw a kid who was like looking to and I'm like if you look over there right behind the night you may or may not find a duck. Like, really? First of all, lady, you weren't even part of the group. Second of all, you're trying to, like, steal them from kids. Whatever. But, um... All right, let me see. Love pina coladas. <laughs> the crew on DZ... So, yeah, the, they know of the ducks. I mean, there are, like, huge duck groups, of which I do not belong, on the Facebooks. Um, so, it it is a... It is a big Route 9 North in Sayreville. That's the one. It's Edison Sayreville. It's right on that border. That was my late night post Hunka Bunka Ballroom Club 35, and also in Sayreville, New Jersey, on the way home. Stop. I have many fond memories and not so memories of my time at uh, at White Castle. They just they just taste better. They hit better late at night. So. Um, all right, so let me see. Uh, oh, the ducks that we had. <laughs> Steve, right, you were there. You saw there was the, the, the person that was following. Again, Disney adults just sort of ruining things. Uh, ruining things. Ruining things all the time. Um, let me see. Uh, duck groups. There's clearly an underground I am not part of. Jason Knapp of herewiththemagic.com and WW Radio show number 720, by the way. Um yeah, there are a lot of interesting subcultures in the Disney community. And I love the fact that there's a place for everyone and everyone has their place. Some of them are more interesting than others. So not every group is not for every person and, and that's cool. Uh, Jim O says, my daughter collects ducks from the boathouse. I collect calories from the boathouse. Uh, we ducked our new GM's office last week. He loved it when we left them where they were put. Yeah, it's fun. You know, it's fun. And, you know, as long as you're respectful of, of other people and spaces and things like that, um, it, it, it can, it adds. And that's one of the things that we do on our cruises and events is we always try and add another layer to the things that we do, whether it is, um, a, a cruise an on the road event and adventures by Disney, right? We have Wyoming coming up in like, it's now almost down to weeks uh, this July. Becky, correct me if I'm wrong. We have one room left. There'll probably be no ducks in Wyoming. Um, but I think we have one spot left for Wyoming. And don't forget too, we also have space available on a Nat Geo Expedition, December 9th through 16th, our Danube Christmas Markets River Cruise. I have never done one before. I'm incredibly excited. As the Nat Geo Guide said, gingerbread and sausage. Gingerbread and sausage and Christmas markets. Uh, Becky has confirmed, by the way, we do in fact have space for Wyoming. So there you go. 
Um, let me see. My favorite Disney Park subculture, Connor Brown, is... <laughs> Wait a minute. I actually thought this, this is why I need to read these before I put them in. Is Luites, people who dress up as Lou and walk around the parks. You know what? Why do I bother letting you in here? Why do I get it? Uh, Beatrice said it's got boots for Wyoming. Do I need boots? I did not see that in the ABD guide. Do I need boots for Wyoming? And if so, what sort of boots do I need? Are they of the cowboy kind or are they of the hiking kind? Once again, woefully unprepared. Uh, Ali is counting down the day. Oh, Ali, I'm so excited you're coming and counting down the days for our Danube River cr Cruise. Uh, Becca said for the Christmas Market River Cruise, we only have the $750 off per person offer until April 30th, which, if my mathematicals are correct, is 18 days from today. So do not wait. And this, I believe, is also going to sell out too because there's there's a hundred and... Um, there's only 175 people. What is it, Becky? It's 52, 56 staterooms on board, 175 people, I think, total, somewhere in that general vicinity. So there's a very good chance this is going to sell out sooner rather than later, especially with the um, with the discount up. Uh, hiking and definitely sweatshirts. Um, let's see. Let me just catch up here. 156 people total. So... Um, we're talking about the final Guardians of the Galaxy trailer put out today. I didn't see the Galaxy final trailer today. I did watch Mandalorian today. This is a spoiler-free zone, so I will not say anything. It is what our spoiler support group is for, and I can't seem to find... I, why do I not have that logo ever ready to go? Uh, I don't. But spoiler support group on Facebook, because that way we can talk about spoilers. All I can say is yes, 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 yes. You'll know exactly, um, you'll know exactly what I am talking about. So 78 staterooms, 156 people total. So looking forward to that. All right. Just want to quickly, um, quickly talk about Jason's Jason's here. I, I said we were going to talk about what we discussed on this week's podcast, which were the little known extras in Walt Disney World. This was a lot of fun to record. Not because Jason was there. It really was because of my stack burger at Steakhouse 71, but also because of Jason. And I'm really, really happy, Jason, that we decided not to make this or not to attempt to make this a top 10-ish list because clearly there were way more than 10. I think this may have been a record for a number of things that we snuck in here from the selfie coffees to the five things that I mentioned at Fort Wilderness to, gosh, I got to remember, um, the happy hours, the restaurant tours, um, getting your food to go. What else? The capture moment, the flag. There was a lot. But I want to, guess I should listen to that one. Why? Why do I put myself, flames, from the side of my face, um, Kate says, love the episode, Lou and Jason. This was all Jason's idea. We, we really had a really nice day, Jason, right? We went out on a pontoon boat with Captain Zachary Brown, or is it Zachariah Brown? Whatever. Um, we were only approached by the, um, the lake security two or three times, which I, I call that a win. Um, really beautiful day out on the water, came back and uh, and had a very late, nice lunch while we were <laughs> recording. Uh, yeah, Zach, um, his inner Floridian came out and just helmed the ship like a true captain. But yeah, that was nice. That was a that was a really really nice uh, that was a really nice day. Very romantical. The three of us just out on the water, the open sea, the wind in our face. Really, and some of the, the photos and selfies, which obviously will never make it online, were, were really just, um, were stunning. Were absolutely stunning. So, but I want to know, uh, yes, by the way, Brian, we do still have room for the Christmas Market River Cruise. Go to www.radio.com slash natgeo23 to find out more and get a free, no obligation quote from Mouse Fan Travel. But again, it is starting to book up and that discount does end at the end of the month. Um, so I want to know from you, everybody other than Becky, because Becky didn't listen, um, what are, what is one of, or, or some of your favorite 
little known extras, either things that we talked about or things that we missed. Of course, whenever you do a, an exhaustive list like this, you still get an email from somebody who's like, my God, Mangello, how in, have you ever been to Disney World? How did you possibly forget pin trading? I got a couple of emails about pin trading. It's not one of the things that we forgot, but my thought in, in the little known extras was to try and come, cover some of the things that maybe you hadn't heard of before. Uh, I don't consider myself a pin person, although I have pins and I do sort of pin trade sometimes, but I think pin trading, especially now and that it's starting to sort of come back again sort of post-COVID, I, I sort of felt pin trading is in in the understanding zone of, of a lot of guests who do go there. We were looking for some of the things who that maybe not everybody knows of, right? So some of the things, like even like when we talk, I don't know if I mentioned like the Pirates Adventure um, in in Adventureland, the, the drawing classes, some of the things like that are things that not every guest or especially first time guests might not necessarily know of. I was surprised how many emails and direct messages I got about the Joffrey's Coffee. Even, I wish I could have videoed so you could have seen Jason's face. He's like, you're making this up. And I'm like, no, dude, here's the app. Literally, here is the, and I showed him on the app. Um, I did have a plan early on that was going to say, maybe like meet Jason. We'd go to Disney Springs tonight. We would skip along and frolic and grab one of those coffees. Alas, I have a cruise in two days and it was a little drizzly and I've got stat, you and the whiteboard, there's just so much going on, but I promise we will we will do it. So what are some of your, what is one of your little known extras that either you heard or that we missed on the show? Uh, Courtney says, I really wanted to do the Segway tour at Tri-Circle D-Ranch. Courtney, I would love to do that again too and find a way, I, God, I, I'm almost sure that I took video, but this was, it's gotta be 10 years easy since I've done that. I'll bet you it's even longer than that. I'll bet you it's probably, I'll bet you I did that in like 2010, somewhere around there. I would love to do that again, either like go live somehow or, or do it again and take, maybe, wait, what? Why don't we do it as a group? Why don't we do a group Fort Wilderness Adventure Segway Tour? Somebody please, no, don't even bother. I'm going to write this down. I'm going to reach out to, to uh, the folks at Disney. I actually know somebody over there. I'm going to see if we can sort of get a day. And I think I think it's 12 people. Maybe pick a day and see if we can sort of like hold that group just for us. Or just pick a day and say, this is when we're going to go. If you want to come and do it with me or whoever else, you can come and um, we'll do it together. And then we'll go over to Trails End and we'll get something to eat and then we'll stay for Backyard Bar. We'll just make a full day slash, or maybe we'll take the boat over to Magic Kingdom. This could be nice. I, I like this. Sooner rather than later or not in the middle of summer. Florida gets a little hot. But anyway, I come back. Um, Marla Chan, the Mosaic Craft Project at Coronado and the Culinary Tour. Yeah, Marla did the Craft Project at Coronado. She shared a photo of what she made in the clubhouse, um, which was really cool. This is one, too. A lot of people have never heard of this. And even guests who stay at Coronado, it, it, is, it is sort of one of these little-known extras. It is a hidden gem because it's not something that is very much on the forefront. And if you want to spend a day at your resort, look, you're paying a premium to stay at a Disney resort. Doing stuff like that really is a lot of fun. I think it enhances your uh, experience while you're there. Uh, Hannah says, one of my favorites is the monorail driver's license that I keep in my wallet from a past ride in the front of the driver's car. It's so funny you mentioned that. I just found three of those that I had, <clears throat> excuse me, in between a couple of books. I might have brought them downstairs already, but they're the little blue monorail pilot's license. They're like blue and light blue and orange, and there's a uh, an area where you, where you can sign your name to it. Uh, yeah, obviously they don't do those anymore since you can no longer ride in the front. Uh, Beth may do the archery in August. Is that a 60-day booking too? I'm not sure if it's 60 or 90 days, Beth. Uh, you can find out on the Fort Wilderness page on the Disney site. 
the celebration buttons. Uh, pa- there is painting at Fort Wilderness. Uh, I didn't know that. I love all the art projects that are there now. So, Michael, I didn't know that they had painting at Fort Wilderness. I think that there's probably a lot more of that at the resorts. This is why when you either go to visit the resort or you check in, ask for, see if they have a printed list of some of the activities that are um, going on at that resort. Um, because I'm sure there's things on there that, that we've missed, things that, that come and go that um, are, are probably a lot of fun and would, would definitely add to the list. Um, let's see, um, polar patios. I may never go again with that one. Are the polar patios, the outdoor sort of cabana things at, uh, Blizzard Beach? Is that what those are? Becky, just so you know, Blizzard Beach is an outdoor water park that people go to usually in the warmer months at Walt Disney World. There's water and children there. So I know it's not really your thing. There's all they do have alcohol, so if that's a, a, an entrance point to it, but I believe that's what the polar patios. Um, that Joffrey's thing was crazy cool. Can I link it? Uh, I don't have a link to it. If you look oh, right here, it's in the background of the um, uh, of the artwork for this week's podcast. I, I really wanted to try and go this week. I just never got it. Oh, wait a minute. I take that back. I'm going to Disney Springs tomorrow. I have back-to-back events in the morning and then early afternoon. If I can remember, I'll try and go over to Joffrey's and do that. Hey, Siri. Remind me to go to Joffrey's tomorrow at 1 p.m. Okay. I added go to Jeffrey's. Thank you. Not Jeffrey, Joffrey. It's fine. I'll know exactly what uh, I know exactly what you mean. Uh, what, Valerie said she enjoyed Sangria University. I want to do Sangria University. University. I want to do Sangria University and either do it like. Wait, maybe I should. No, it's like at four o'clock. I can't do it during a live show. If only there was somebody who would do it with me. Somebody who liked Sangria. Was here, even local. I don't know. I'm sure I can find. Someone who also is age 21 and over. Uh, Behind the Seeds tour, Drew Pike. I haven't done that in a long, long time. My daughter uh, at the petting zoo at Planet Watch blew our minds with a special experience. Andrew Klein, I think you're right. That's one I should have included too because I think so many people don't make the trip out there because there's not necessarily a, there's no thrill ride, right? There's no attraction per se. And if they see that sort of the train is a one-way trip, they're like, why am I going to go out there? It's not just for kids. Um, the drawing class that's out there is a lot of fun. Watching the um, the animal experts uh, working on animals, you never know what you might find when you get there. There's some really great interactive exhibits as well. And the petting zoo is really, my kids like that. Like, I think we went, let's see, my daughter's 19. I think we were there like three years ago, two, three years ago, and she still loved it. She still loved seeing all of the animals. Um so Brian says, I didn't see anything about the Segway tours. I did confirm that they are still going on. Um, the Segway tours are still going on. You, I believe you may need to register for them in advance. Otherwise, you need to check in at, gosh, is it Meadow Outpost for the Segway tour? Uh, but I don't, yeah, I'm not sure if you need to, to book that. Uh, riding a horse at Fort Wilderness, Jim O, I would definitely suggest doing that. Not in August. Um, because it does get hot. I believe you have to wear long pants. I believe I did that in jeans. Jeans in August. No bueno. No bueno. But it, it's a uh, it's a lot of fun. But yeah, I, I do believe that um, I do believe that the Segway tours are still going. On. I'm going to find out. I've got my little note written written down. I may even shoot an email tonight and see if we can set that up as uh, a group thing. Um. Let's see. Oh, I see. There's a lot of interest in the a lot of interest in the segue. Uh, Soup says you're gonna have to raffle off the. Um, uh, you're gonna have to raffle off all those. Uh, Becky says I'd love to spend some time there. I love eating animals. No, I, I love animals. I love. I'm sorry. I misread. I, I misread what you were saying. Um, 
Let's see. Let's do it for Halloween. Let's do it for my birthday. Um, Rob says, do segues and a little hoopty do musical review. God, we had such a good time before the cruise for hoopty do in, <coughs> excuse me, in December. Um, Wow, oh, Becky, they have Cabanas and Cabana Boys. No, they do not have Cabana Boys. Please stop giving out missing. Mouse Fan Travel, everybody. Cabana Boys. Cabana Boys. You can put that on your uh, quote request form. I'd like a room at um, Coronado Springs. I'd like to also get Cinderella's Royal Table. And can I have two Cabana Boys, please? I, I don't think that that's actually offered, allowed, or encouraged in any uh <laughs> In any way, shape, or form. So, um, yes, Jeffrey may be surprised when I get the notification that I have to uh, I have to go to Jeffrey tomorrow. Um, <laughs> Donna says I just lit up her devices with Hey Siri. Uh, hey Siri, download every episode of the WDW Radio podcast, just in case it worked. Like, why not? just in case. Um, Jason says, yes, they're all still happening. And yes, you do need to book them in advance. Um, let me see. When we stayed at Pop Century, there was a caricature artist. Um, my buddy Jason used to be the caricature artist at uh, Art of Animation Pop Century. He's one of our favorite souvenirs. And it's free. Like, there's no, you don't need to sign up. It just sort of happens. I believe it happens still at 11 to... And five, I may be wrong. I have to sort of double check. Jen Subco says, the carriage rides are my favorites, especially during the holidays. I agree. I think the carriage rides, um, Halloween and Christmas, they're, they're slightly different experiences, but I think Christmas time, there's just, it's the weather, it's the music, it's the decor everywhere. It's, uh, it's a really, really nice, and you don't need to be staying at the resorts. They do it from Fort Wilderness, both Port Orleans resorts, I believe. Um, I think the last time I took a carriage ride, I think I've told the story way too many times, but when I booked it many, many years ago, I got it on Halloween night and I surprised my, we went to Trails End and then I, I got a Halloween night haunted, um, haunted carriage ride it was a little bit creepy for my kids and my wife, but it was fun. I loved it. I not because they were scared, but because it was just so cool. Because and they don't do it anymore, so it's not a spoiler. But but the headless horseman would come and ride right up next to your carriage. It was awesome. It was spooky and it was foggy. And I and I mean it's fine. The, the, they're almost done with therapy. So. But yeah, I agree, Jennifer. The the carriage rides are wonderful. They could be something for the family, for friends. They could be something romantic as well. So now Jennifer wants a cabana boy. We need to stop the cabana boy. <laughs> we need to stop the cabana boy conversation. We're offering something that is not available. Don't make, don't write checks that your travel agent can't, uh, that, you, that they can't cash. No, that is not that, Jason. You don't want me to. Jason, draw me like one of your friends. No, no, don't. Becky, you've never done the carriage ride? Becky has never done the carriage ride. Uh, I don't, let me check. I don't believe you can bring a flask. Yeah, uh, that might be a deal breaker for you. I'll double check, but I don't think, I don't think flasks are uh, actually allowed on there. Debbie says, I have a coffee cabana boy in-house. Listen, what happens in the privacy of everyone's own home is that that is all on you. So um, I saw your I saw your text, Becky. I was thinking the same thing and didn't want to say it out loud because I wanted to be a surprise for when we do the thing at at that place. So um yeah. Great and or insane minds. Sometimes think alike. No cabana boys. No cabana boys. Uh, any other little known extras that maybe we have missed? Uh, something else that we should make an effort to go and see or do? And a little known extra could also be a food item. Like 
if there's a little known snack, wait, there is a little known snack and I need to go and do this. I don't know when soon there is a, a confirmed rumor on the street that the lunching pad in Tomorrowland now has breakfast. Wait for it. It's tater tots, potato barrels with eggs. I think it's like eggs and peppers and onions and cheese. And it's not chili. It's like there's something else on it. And it sounds delicious. I don't think I'll be able to get there early enough on Friday before the meet to go have it. But I'm incredibly intrigued. And I think there's also like a sweet bun, like a cinnamon bun type thing there. Um, We forgot to mention golf, like the actual kind. Uh, That's actually like a sport. That's like a work thing that is embarrassing for me. That's, it is not a little known thing. It is not something I am, I am capable and really should be allowed to do. I should not be allowed on any sort of sporting green court course field track it is just not what god put into i'm blessed with with many things athletic talent ability prowess skill whatever you want to call it is not one of them i know my place in the circle of life jenner says like you lou i'm not a sweets guy breakfast breakfast can be early it also can be brunch um we have to i have to just find out what the uh (laughs) <laughs> what the hours are. 350, a celebration of chili and glitter. Peace out, 50. Hello, 100. Which, by the way, I think I have Disney 100 merch. God, I, wait a minute. Who am I? Wait a second. I have so much merch to give away. I've been so busy, and I've been doing so many things. I have so much merch I need to give away. Right? I have, like, all this cool... Disney 100 merch. Wait, let's go back to here. I have all this cool Disney 100 merch to give away. A pin set with a little lanyard. I've got these Disney 100 pins. I think these open up. One of these open up. And a little Disney, like, glittery pen. I also have to give away an Orange Bird Magic Band Plus. And... Because this is the way, I also have a Casetify Grogu case. These cases are like 85, 90 bucks to give away. I really, I should really do it while the show is still on. So maybe, uh, again, I'm just sort of juggling a lot at once. I will try and maybe I'll put up a contest up on, maybe I'll put a contest up on Instagram tomorrow for one of these i'll keep these on my desk so i don't forget because it's just there's a lot of stuff happening (laughs) like a lot of stuff happening all um all over the place um by the way speaking just before i forget speaking of our little known extras at walt disney world don't forget wait not that one check out uh here with the magic on monday Jason is doing a a live video tour of some of their favorites, um, other favorites available in the vacation kingdom of the world. That is the worst possible picture of me, Jason. How did I let you do this? Good God, why didn't I look at that first? What's wrong with my face? Other than the fact that it's just my face. Wait, let me do this. That's better. There you go. <laughs> go to here with the magic.com slash show. You can also just check it out. There you go. That's better because my face isn't in it. Um, every Monday at seven, Jason does a live show. He, Jason is a content machine. Uh, wait, now he says, look at my hair. Wait, now I have to put it back in. That's fine, but it's you. So I don't really care. It's really about how bad my face lo- lo- looks in that. And uh, Jason also has... Uh, here with the magic soundscapes which you can get uh, it is a podcast you can find on your favorite podcast player very cool listen to it like with earbuds or headphones or even just in the car because it uses that binaural spatial 3d audio to make you feel like you are there so definitely go and check those out boom um 
Let me see. What else did I forget? What else am I forgetting? Marla Chan says, I love the soundscapes, uh, Jason and his hair. Yeah, we may I should put that one up one more time because now I can't stop looking at it. Right now, I wait. I oh, can I make this? Let me see if I can do this. Wait, yeah, this is better. There we go. That's that's what we really were looking for. That's perfect. It's it's exactly what we what we need right there. So uh, Monday seven o'clock here with the magic dot com slash shoe show shoe or show. It doesn't matter. Same thing. So um, what else? I had a couple of other um, announcements for you too. Um, let me see. Let me see. I don't remember what they are. Um, it looks like we, uh, Becky, we did have fun. We had fun. We had food. We had, uh, the wind blowing in our hair. Jason had this really awkward, like Titanic moment, like standing up on the bow. I think that was the second time that security came by. It surrounded our boat was, it was a little intimidating, but I understand why I, I understand why. So follow the rules if and when you rent a pontoon and you don't need to be a sea captain to do it. Um, the, the pontoon boats are, are easy to drive around. I mean, our, our, our captain Zach was, was very well versed and practiced in the boating skills, but it is something that you can do. It is a really nice thing to do with a small group of friends, something a little romantic, take the kids out on, you can tour, Bay Lake um, and uh, Seven Seas Lagoon. You can go in front of Magic Kingdom, past all the resorts, over to Fort Wilderness. I have some really cool pictures that I'll share tomorrow, or I'll try and do it tonight in the clubhouse, or I'll, I'll share on Instagram on my stories of the construction of um, the new tower over at the Poly from the waterside view. I'll also show you where they were building reflections and then stopped and what that looks like. And the only way you can see that is actually from <laughs> from the water uh yes it's a bear uh, <laughs> well i only embraced you because zach started singing right near far wherever you are so i just felt like i had to just run up behind you and look i've done a lot of things for video that i'm not really proud of that's one of it that what that is absolutely one of it so um are there other here with the magic podcast or just soundscape Jason has so much content all over the place. I can't keep track. I believe he's on the YouTubers and he's on the podcast. So just search for here with the magic, wherever you get anything. And there's a good chance Jason has something coming out that day. So, um, I want a pontoon one visit. I'm probably shoot to Marla. Even you and I can see over the steering wheel. Uh, maybe we'll do that on one of your trips. Maybe we'll get a, a bunch of friends and we'll we'll rent a pontoon boat. You can also like you can do fireworks cruises. Now maybe we'll do like a little daytime picnic. We'll bring a little nosh. <gasps> Wait, we'll bring a little nosh, a couple of beverages. We'll go out on. Maybe I'll just hire Zach to pilot the boat. Maybe it's just easier that way. Because um, I'm not a good driver on land. Certainly not on water, and that's a lot of responsibility. They just. You know, after the last incident, I just don't want to. Whatever. I've said too much already. So. <laughs> um, Becky, I'm going to murder you. Everybody say goodnight to Becky. Say goodbye to Becky right now. There's no way you're coming off the ship because there's a good chance you're going to accidentally fall over the side. What? Flame? My. It's a family-friendly show, Lou. Just, just let it go. Just, just, it's, it's fine. It's fine. Um, let me see. There was one other question that I missed. Um, can you get a jungle cruise skipper for the boats? You cannot. Sorry for the weird question. What's the lamp? What's the lamp? Mike, I'm not sure if that's some sort of like weird code, like the lamp, like what is, What's the lamp? Like the lamp, not the rat? Like the lamp, not the rat? That lamp? I'm so confused. All right, just clear it up for me. And I'll, and I want, what is the lamp? Like I'm looking to see behind me, like what, this lamp? Wait, this one? Oh gosh. The scream canister, that's a lamp. That's my little Japanese lamp. Uh, 
That is my Olszewski Main Street Electrical Parade. And it's my original Tron disc. I think that's all I got. I have a couple little Japanese lamps in here, but that's that's it. That's all I got. Can we get a cabana boy from the boats? I am. I am available um, for boat. No, I'm not. I, that's. I'm not a. I, not that anybody would want me on their boat anyway. So, um, is that a ring lamp? I have a. I have a small ring lamp here. I love lamp. <laughs> for anybody who gets the reference, I love. I love lamp. Uh, what 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 movie is that from? I love lamp. If you want to confuse Luke, just ask me about lamps. All right, enough with the, the Amber Bramble, enough with the Cabana Boys. It's starting, Zach Brown, I, I mean, technically, I'm sure for the right price, Zach Brown, CabanaBoy.com is where you would find to um, Anchorman. Bravo and brava for all of you got the the reference. So, <laughs> Brick Tamlin. <laughs> Zach, are you old enough to watch Anchorman? I think Anchorman's rated R. I hope a parent of guardians took you into the theater to, so this is an identity disc. Um, that's my identity disc from Tron legacy when it came out in 2010, 2012, 2012, by the way, I went back and listened to the, to the interview, the conversation, I, I don't really like to call it an interview, the conversation I had with Cindy Morgan. She is a, such a nice person. I remember how much I enjoyed my interview, my conversation with her when I had it. And it was just nice to be able to go back and, and listen um, auction Lou off as a cabana boy for make a wish dream team. Why did I put that up? I don't know. It's a great idea, but it's going to, it literally would be like groundhog day where I'd be like up there. I'm like, okay, who wants a bit on Lou? A dollar. I have two bits. That's, that's what it would go for. So the 25 cents for make a wish would probably not be enough to, um, Move the needle. Becky, sorry, Grace says, hey, I just logged in. Uh, Cabana Boys, Lamps, and Jason's, Jason's hair. I can see, Grace, you know, it is always a fun night here when our family gets together. So I am sorry you missed it. We'll fill you in. You didn't really miss very much. We talked about little known extras in Walt Disney World. We did talk about Jason's hair. Uh, all of the Here with the Magic content. The whiteboard giveaways. Um... It's a lot of Cabana Boy talk, actually. Some mention of cruises, upcoming events. I mean, that pretty much pretty much sums it all up for this week. Um, let me see. A couple of other quick reminders before we go. Now I'm seeing an afternoon delight and envisioning rainbows. Uh, Beatrice, I love sort of the the way the connective tissue in your brain just sort of freely associates from one thing to another um that and ducks that's right we did also talk about ducks i do not have a duck here by way of example but um there are there's a lot of ducks i got a lot of ducks downstairs so you will if you see me walking around with a ww radio backpack chances are i'm, I'm hiding ducks Jason Knapp, I do not want to see the word cloud for tonight because I, I really, it, Cabana Boy and WW Radios is a little off brand for me. So I'd rather just sort of let that die in a, a very, you know, a very quick, painful, painless death. Um, we had a whole wheel of cheese. Um, I, I can start doing Anchorman quotes, but I really don't want to confuse anybody. And now I'm thinking about the, uh, um, got to having the ring. I still don't know what the lamp question was. Uh, I still don't. I still don't know what the lamp question was. That's um, that's okay. I must have just missed something um, along the way. So, uh, all right. I think that's going to do it. I would still love to know if there's any other little known extras in Walt Disney World that we missed. Um, let me do this. Let me just go here, just so I can give you a couple of other um, quick other reminders um next week i'm going to try to be live from the fantasy on our normal wednesday night time i'm also going to try and go live from the sail away party on saturday 4 30 4 45 ish 
Uh, please, again, make sure you turn on notifications. Check out here, wait, here with the magic.com, the show, which is his live show Monday. He's going to talk some more about some of the little known extras. Uh, don't forget, if you are going to be in Walt Disney World this Friday, our meet of the month has moved locations because the Tomorrowland I still call it the Noodle Station slash Terrace is closed. We're going to be outside of Cosmic Rays Starlight Cafe from 5 to 6 o'clock on this Friday. Uh, if you're interested in joining us for our Nat Geo Expedition River Cruise, visit www.radio.com slash Nat Geo 23. Uh, why do I not have... I do have a promo. I do have something I want to show you. Wait a second. Um, no, maybe I did not. Did I not put this in there? No, I didn't. Well, you know what? I'll sh nah, that's all right. I'll save that for another time. I'll save that for another time. I was going to show you a little sneak peek of something that I just updated. I guess you can show them. It's not a big deal. All right, Troy. You want a quick sneak peek of the new updated LouMangelo.com site? You can visit LouMangelo.com. Check, check it out there. I welcome any feedback, typos, mistakes. If you are a copy editor and want to, uh, uh, want to throw me some... Uh, constructive suggestions i will certainly take those two and you know what i do have it wait a second uh if you're interested in coming to my momentum weekend workshop this fall um, i just opened up tickets for um prior attendees and coaching clients and things like that before i make it public to everybody else i will give you access to it first and you can still take advantage of a super duper early bird special that is going on. If you visit lumangelo.com, click on momentum. You can get early bird tickets before they go on sale. I will tell you we're almost halfway sold out uh, and I haven't opened them up publicly yet. So if you want to save and you want to attend, you can visit lumangelo.com and click on the momentum tab there. Uh, we talked about uh, Wyoming. We talked about the... Um, our river cruise. What else am I missing? Uh, somebody asked me about the jukebox. Somebody said, what is the jukebox that you hear me talk? So if you're interested in going to listen to older episodes, right, you see now that I've been putting them in the um, shows from the archives. But if you want to go back and listen to some of the old ones, you can obviously find them in your feed. But if you want to go to the WWO jukebox, it's a single page where you have access on your browser. So if you like listening from your desktop, you can go right from your browser. You have access to all of the shows right from there. Uh, thanks again to everybody who is part of the WWO Nation family. I love and appreciate you. I've got some cool things I'm working on for the nation, not just including the uh, care packages every month, but uh, some updates I'm going to be doing to some of the different levels. If you are a member, thank you so much. Um, the show does not happen without you. And if you want to find out how you can help for as little as a dollar per month, you can go to www.nation.com. Um, I know I'm missing something else. Oh, I know what I'm missing. If you want to come down to Walt Disney World for any or, or come to any of our events, or you're planning your own vacation, or you're saying, hey, Mangello, I want to be there for that Segway thing. When you do it, visit mousefantravel.com. Um, listen, don't go there because you know you're going to get the best prices on your upcoming vacation. Don't go because their services come completely free to you. Don't go because, you know, they, they, um, they're incredibly knowledgeable. They have agents all around the world who are knowledgeable. Go because they treat you like family. And that is the most important thing. It's not necessarily what they do for you, but it's the way that they make you feel, the comfort level that they give you, and the feeling that you are being treated like a loved member of the family. So you can go and visit them over at Mouse Fan Travel. Dot com And of course, don't forget to always choose the good, be the good, set an example for others. Small, kind, compassionate, caring gestures go a long, long way. And I promise you have a huge, huge, huge ripple effect. So, uh, and as always, if there's anything that I can ever do for you, uh, by all means, please let me know. That is going to do it for this week. I will see you on Friday. Uh, I'll check out, make sure you stay tuned for a show from the archives tomorrow. And if you like what you hear, please, the best way that you can help 
is by spreading the word, by telling a friend, tag me if you share something, I'll be sure and follow you and reshare it for you. And if there's ever anything that I can do to help you, please reach out and let me know. So uh, until next time, until next week, I will see you here. Well, I won't see you here. I'll see you there on the cruise somewhere. I love you. I appreciate you. Have a good night. See ya.